A very big hello to my wonderful KCD champions. I hope all of you are doing super great. Well, I'll start off this video with one very important question. How is your KCD preparation going on? Strong or wrong? Ma'am, how do I understand that? I am preparing for it. I am working really hard for my PU2 and I believe my concepts are really strong for PU2. Obviously, I will be able to crack KCT because maximum amount of questions are going to come from PU2 and later on I'll do PU1 after that and then it's all sorted. My concepts are strong. I am practicing PU2 questions. My concepts are even more strong then. So everything is cool. You know what? This is just one mistake. There are plenty of mistakes like this which we all do. And these mistakes, my dear children, are going to shatter your dreams of getting a rank in KCT, of getting into a good college via KCT. You think it's a small mistake? Let me remind you, it's not. You are going to appear for a competitive examination where 3 lakh other children are also going to be at the same place, writing for the same examination, competing for the same college that you are dreaming for. And now you think that you can afford to do mistake like this? No. I'm not here to scare you off or tell you that, oh, this is a very big mistake, oh my God, your life will be shattered and this and that. No, I'm here to tell you that you probably might be doing this. If you are, then it's the correct time. We are in the month of December. You still have time. Make changes in your whole pattern of studying and shift your gears to scoring good in KCT examination. Okay, there is a thing. Some people know the problem, they act on it. Some people do not know the problem, they will not be able to act on it. So I am here to tell you what's going on wrong. First thing that you guys do wrong is you study for boards and you assume that my KCT prep is done. I agree for boards you are preparing for concepts and your concepts are really really strong but you need to understand KCET is about how you apply these concepts in the form of questions. And until and unless you are not solving this, you are basically not understanding where you stand. I am not saying that, my dear children, you have to spend so much time into doing questions for KCT, this and that, especially when your pre-board examination, your board examination are super close. I am telling you, block your time right now. Block your time right now and start solving question. I studied X chapter. For example, I studied integrals for this, this particular point of time. Can I give 30 minutes for question practice? Can I give 30 minutes for KCT question practice? What harm does it do? You are preparing for your examination. When you are preparing for KCT questions, when you are solving it up, basically you are revising the concepts. You are revising the concepts. Isn't it directly helping in your PU2 also? When you are revising the concepts via questions, isn't it helping in, in your PU2 examination as well? Yes. So you started for your PU2, you gave 30 minutes for solving 30 questions or at least 25 questions of KCET. You are preparing yourself a lot, lot better. You get it? So please don't do this mistake that ma'am, I do not have time. Now I have my pre-board examination. I cannot spend my time for KCET examination. I will do it later on. Please don't do that. You are preparing for PU2. If you're preparing for PU2, you can solve some questions of KCET of PU2 syllabus, my dear children. This is going to help you. Okay, this is definitely going to help you and make sure you're picking up some high weightage topics. Picking, pick up some high weightage topic of your PU2 if at all you're very much scared. Pick those topics up, solve questions. It won't do any harm. 30 minutes is more for you, make it 15. Make it 15 plus please try. If at all you have lost, you're losing the habit of solving questions now because of so and so examination. Basically, my dear children, you're losing out on a lot of things. You know what, for people who prepare for JE examination, I have seen interviews of them saying that uh, basically I prepare so much, uh, 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 what do you say, I do not have any time for anything else. I'm not asking you to be like them. I'm saying that you need to find time. Have your priorities be set. Find some time, 15 minutes of time and start solving questions after your PU2 chapter is being done. That is the first thing. Because it checks your speed and your accuracy. 
here your concepts are strong agreed but you have to check your speed and accuracy and my dear children this whole game is for that you know what for getting into the top college of karnataka that is rvc you need to have a rank of 990 at least 990 this is the closing rank okay for computer science and engineering cyber security next college that we have is what do you call pes over here if at all you see computer science and engineering 1654 is the rank okay cse in ai ml 2694 is the rank going ahead msrit my dear children last rank is 7708 for electronics and communication if at all you looking for cse again 2076 is your rank here here you have the next college coming up the rank you see it is 3156 for sri jaya chamarajendra college of engineering what do you think is the safest score it is 1 to 3000 and if at all you think that i will keep uh, this kct prep to i'll i'll um, do this preparation later on my dear children i am telling you we cannot achieve this we cannot achieve this i'm not saying you cannot achieve this i'm saying we cannot achieve this it's our dream also that you get into the best college out there so yes i understand that you have so so examination but spend little time for question practice it is super important if at all you do it daily i'm telling you it builds consistency it builds confidence it makes sure that your concepts are being revised as well okay and the second mistake that you do is ignoring previous year questions so over here when i say that you should be question doing the question practice do not good solve any random questions out there please go ahead with the past 10 years previous question paper okay please start with the past 10 years previous question paper all of it together you might be thinking is there might be so many questions in a chapter the maximum questions a chapter can have is 50 and that too very less chapters are there with 50 questions very less chapters with 50 questions okay so it's not too much when you pick up a chapter it can be 20 questions 30 questions 40 questions if at all you spend uh, two days of time for solving question at least 20 questions if you solve among them my dear children it is definitely going to help you at least the recent question papers question do that what understanding do you get while doing this why everyone says that you have to solve the previous year questions because it gives you an understanding of the repeated questions no questions are repeated very less in case it is rather the concepts are repeated very much okay you will get repeated concepts and when you understand the repeated concepts you will be able to solve anything out there you will be thorough with your concepts by the time you solve the questions out there so the time i told you that you need to solve questions take the previous year questions do not solve any random question okay it's of no point because in kct we have seen that so many concepts are being repeated and not just that you get an idea of your error pattern that what mistakes do you actually do you do not realize what mistakes you actually do until you try it when you try you get to know that okay this is something that probably i am doing i'm repeating it again and again i should be doing something to stop this if you if you if you are not practicing how will you know where are you getting things wrong and what are you doing with your preparation my dear children so that is one very important thing okay so do not ignore the previous year questions mark them up slowly solve them whenever you have time i'm telling you it does wonders now the third one is no omr or timer practice so uh, when we say that you have to solve questions and this and that it's not like for 20 questions you take 40 minutes you know what in your kct examination you get 80 minutes okay in that 80 minutes 10 minutes is for your question writing as well as filling in your omr sheet rest 70 minutes you are getting for actually reading the question and attempting it i will say you just get only 60 minutes per 60 questions that means 1 minute per question and when you have a situation like this it's very obvious that we all get panicky it's all very very obvious we do mistakes so it's not like you have negative marking in case it is if at all you bubble wrong basically you will uh, what do you call you will have negative marking but that suppose i know the answer okay suppose i know for example sixth question i know the answer but i attempted something else i do not get to attempt the sixth question again you get it and also as i said why is this important because it gives you an idea of the actual exam like scenario you have got this pdf if you need this pdf you can let me know okay basically 
my dear children start practicing with OMRs. Have this downloaded at your home. I have seen children telling that I have started OMR practice. You become a pro. It feels very, what do you call, when you get into the examination hall, everything feels the same for you. You're not panicked now because you have an experience with that. OMR is there. You're solving questions. You do it every day. It's a usual habit like thing for you when you go to the examination hall. And please have a timer practice because I am telling you this exam is actually considered to be a moderate examination. It is not too tough. It is not too easy. It is just a moderate examination which totally depends on your speed and your accuracy. Your speed is calculated with the help of timer. Okay, so 20 minutes, 20 questions. That's all. Your accuracy with this. How accurately you are you going to answer the question? Let's check it out and have this piled up that these are the questions that I did. Have these things with you noted down that this question, I got it wrong and I have to revisit this. So that that's, should be the next question, that uh, next problem that is going to come. So anyways, my dear children, I hope I am making you aware of things. I hope you, under, you are understanding the importance of finding little bit time for your KCT preparation, right? And if at all, you are understanding I want all of you who feel that, yes, ma'am, from today onwards, I'll try to at least solve 10 to 15 questions. Put this down in the comment section. KCET prep 100% strong. KCET prep 100% strong. I really, really want to know who all are those children who actually got an idea that, yes, I have to do something for my future. Okay, so please do that. And... If at all you are someone who is finding difficulty in having a proper resource for your previous year questions or for an actual KCT like test out there, we have launched our Abhyas KCT test series. I think the previous Saturday we launched it. This test series, as of now, we are making sure to make it available until December. So previous year we kept gave it in the month of February. But this year we saw a lot of you were asking, which is why we released it earlier, so that you can start off your preparation. And there is one big addition that we have done. So KCET tests is there. And we have also added chapter-wise KCET PYQs, and you should be attempting it in a timer-like situation. So there is a timer being kept. You have to attempt your questions with the help of, in, in a, what you call, accordance with the timer out there. So this creates a real KCET exam-like pattern. And my dear children, the same course was sold in, uh, what do you call, with the same price, that is 1499. We just had an addition of one particular thing. We didn't increase the price. It's still the same. And it is still very much useful. I'm telling you, lot of children got the benefit of Abhyas. Lot. So many, thousands of them got the benefit of Abhyas and they got into the best colleges out there. And you know what? A few of them, we could uh, meet them actually. Uh, we all found time for meeting them as well. For example, Prajwal with rank 171, Kiran with 443, Diksha with 693, Sahil also we met with uh, rank 2427. So my dear children, this is what commitment does. This is what consistency does. If at all you're consistently, it's not like you take Abhyas KCT test series and you get the rank. You have to consistently solve this. And I'm telling you, take it now, start solving the questions. I told you, when you do a chapter, take the chapter by PYQ, start solving the questions. See how far are you doing things. How far better are you getting at things. Are you able to go ahead or is the graph same? You get to understand that. To make sure you take this series, if you think it helps, well, I'll suggest to take it as a, as I'm telling you, it's in December, probably it might be closing soon and released very much late, later on towards your examination. It, we are in the thinking phase as of now, but yes, so do that. And if you have any doubts, do let us know. Now, the fourth mistake that you do is running away from the weak subjects. Ma'am, mathematics is okay for me, physics is not okay. And uh, I'll score really good in maths, okay? I am aiming for 56 out of 60 or 54 out of 60. In physics, uh, my score, I think it will be 45 or basically 30. I do not know. My physics is so bad. I'll, I'm just depending on mathematics. It's not like that. Your KCT rank is determined by your total score. Understand that. Okay, so basically 60 marks of your physics, 60 marks of your chemistry, 60 marks of your mathematics is taken. Additional 
if you add it up it comes out to be 180 it comes out to be 180 right out of 180 what is your total score that de determines your rank out there so what you can do is even when you feel like I should not be studying this subject because it's too much for me please have slots please have slots for subject why I'm telling you is that when you have slot, you are basically telling yourself that you have to study this subject anyway. And not just have slot, but also assign the task that I have to do this, 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 this in this particular slot. And check your progress. Now I'm telling you when you do that, when you start off, it, it is difficult for you. When you keep on trying my day it becomes easy. And when you check your progress, this builds up the confidence. So please. Even if you are not, uh, I'm not saying that you're completely ignoring a subject. I am saying that probably there are chances, if at all you like a subject, you might be spending more time into it and not focusing on the other chapters. You need to understand things that you should be working on your weak areas. If you're not working on your weak areas, these weak areas will make you lose your marks. So I know it's difficult, but make sure anyway you have to study for your PU2 boards. Anyway you have to study that particular subject. Have the slot, have a task being assigned and start. Start your preparation. Do not be running away from the weak subjects out there. Now, the last mistake that I have for you is no mock test analysis. Okay, so you do test. Ma'am, you said that I have to give test and all. I gave the test. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's done. That's done. I gave the test. I got four wrong and that's all. I do not have time to check it up. But if analysis is not, then what, is, what will you do? You will repeat the mistakes. If you repeat the mistakes, are you safe in your KCET examination? No. Once your test is done, analysis has to be done. That, okay, I did mistake over here. At least mark those mistakes. One question, second question, and fifth question, I did the mistake. You do not have time to analyze it now. It's okay. Write it somewhere. What is this book known as? This book is your error book. Write it in your error book. When you have time, come back see the question try to solve it once more and see if at all you're doing the same error if you are doing revise the concept revise the concept and that's how you are going to be safe if you are not basically you are going to do the same mistake we usually think no i'll, I'll tell you with my experience when i used to be preparing for a competitive examination right i used to sit like this and i used to solve questions and then whenever i get things wrong uh, I go and revise the concept and I then at that, that particular point of time only I try to resolve it and it will be all good. I will feel oh my god my concept is super clear. After a few days when I go through the concept, go through the same question I would not be able to do it. Why? Because it was just a timely what do you call thing that I did. It is not there stored in my brain. I had, I had not analyzed it properly. I have to analyze okay in this question this is what I did. This is why I got my answer wrong. Okay, in that particular condition, I have to make the concept strong. I make the concept strong, I solve the question, and then I see, okay, it's good. I resolve this question after a few days because I have put down the numbers already in the error book. Now, when I resolve it, if I'm able to do it, all good. If I'm not, revise. Revise. Obviously, when you go ahead and solve the questions, not like you'll get so many questions wrong. It will be just few. So don't think it's a Herculean task that I'm telling you over here. When you start doing it, you will understand the importance. And it's not me telling you, I always tell that. It's not a teacher who is telling you this. It's a student who is telling you this. Okay. So every other student who go and write examination, they do mistakes and we know what mistakes they do. And we are just sharing it with you so that you do not repeat that. My dear children, do not repeat that. Okay, so these are the probable things that you might be getting wrong. I hope I had helped you in some way. I hope you will start your preparation for today. You will be giving those 15 minutes. Yeah, you will be maintaining your error book. You will be having the time to practice 15 questions, then 15 minutes. If yes, if it has helped you, subscribe to the channel right now. And I just wanted to tell that that's all for today. Wishing you all the best. If you face any trouble, we are here. Trust in us, okay? And whatever your trouble is, put it down in the comment section. I'll try to sort it as soon as possible. And my dear children, you are really hardworking. I know there are so many examinations coming up. I know you struggle, but you know what? You are more capable than you think. That does not mean that you have to stress yourself up. No, don't do that. Okay, take it slow, but take it nice. 
okay you are putting your efforts let your efforts be at the right position right so yes wishing you all the best take care and as i said do not forget to hit the subscribe button if this video helped you bye bye